Hi everybody, Matt Norris here. When it comes to our education system, I don't believe in just throwing money at the problem. I think we need to get back to the basics, focus in on math and reading. We need to look at innovative things like the letters training that helps our teachers prepare our young people to read effectively and make sure that our teachers have access to the training for the letters program and that we're actually paying them to participate in that critical training. But sometimes funding is also part of the problem and I want to explain why. So here on our chart, we've got school funding uh, and this is the funding per student uh, in 2003 uh, and in fiscal year 2023, which is, is going to be coming up. And back in 2003, the funding per student that the school districts got from the state was $4,966, which is indicated by this bar right here. Jump ahead to 2023, and the per student funding from the state is $6,863. And so you may be saying, well, look at this big gap. We keep giving more money to the schools and we're not getting better outcomes. But there's something important to note here. If we had just gone back to 2003, think about what gas cost in 2003. Think about what groceries cost in 2003. A lot different than today's world. Uh, and the same is true with our funding for our schools. If we had just gone back to 2003 and said, we're going to put school funding on autopilot, we're just going to adjust it for inflation every single year. If we had done that, the bar would look like this. It'd go all the way up here, and we would have about $7,661 per student for our schools. So you, what you can see here is there's a gap of about $800 per student that the schools haven't even kept up with inflation. So now when you say, well, how come you know, the schools aren't able to perform up to our expectations. Well, part of it is because we simply haven't been even keeping up with inflation, letting, let alone providing additional dollars for the additional technology and other things that are required in today's school environment. So I'll go back to my starting point. Throwing money at the schools is not the only solution, but we also have to make sure that our schools are properly funded if we're going to have a good, strong public education system. So if you want to learn more about my plans for education, head on over to my website, votefornorris.com. And if you're somebody who believes in supporting our public schools and making sure that every student has access to a high quality school where they feel safe and respected, well, then I hope you'll vote for me this November. I'm Matt Norris. Thanks for watching, everybody.